Rocco Romano lost his sense of smell when he was in his 30s, and he also suffered deep depression. But he was shocked to learn a decade later he had Parkinson's disease. When I heard it from the first doctor, I just, I felt like, I felt like my heart just dropped to the floor. It was just, it was awful. It's like a sudden loss. You're like, oh my God, I am, what's gonna happen to my life? Well, I found out when I was 43 years old. So that was five years ago. I mean, I, mean, I had the, these symptoms probably, like I said, 15 years beforehand. He also had trouble turning his phone in his hand. For me, my symptoms are um, extreme fatigue at times stiffness of, you know, joints and, and muscles, and then slow movement. He says the depression is the worst symptom. Depression is such a sh shaming symptom or condition. And of recent, I've been having going through a, quite a bit of depression. You just kind of withdraw into yourself. And, uh, you know, the worst thing I can do is start to withdraw. Rocco was afraid of his diagnosis at first, but now has no fear. He focuses on slowing the progression of the disease. Medication helps. So does mountain biking. Rocco has always been active. He loves getting on his bike and hitting the trails near his house. He believes the high-intensity workout helps relieve symptoms of Parkinson's and restores the chemical dopamine which diminishes in Parkinson's. That's a chemical that gives us a sense of well-being and a good feeling. I mean, it's almost like medicine itself. It really is, and it just helps out so much. I would say the biggest effect right after I'm done with um, exercising is, you know, the depression is almost immediately gone. And it doesn't resurface until, you know, three or four days later. It's the exercise. It really, that blood flow into the brain, it is so crucial. But sometimes he's so drained, he can't ride. And the cold weather makes his muscles stiffen up. But he got back on that bike recently, and he realizes it's something he has to do to feel better. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Sometimes I don't want to do it. Doctors have also changed medicines to help lessen the symptoms of depression and improve his sleep at night. Rocco says the toughest part was explaining the diagnosis to his three young children, but he laughs when recalling their reaction. Once I was diagnosed, we pretty much immediately told them. Um, <laughs> the reaction was, are you going to die? I said, no, I'm not going to die. And um, then they said, okay. And then they just went about what they were doing. Rocco says one of the hardest parts about this disease is having to retire early from his job as a technology teacher, a job he loves. It takes a lot of energy out of you. And at the end of the day, um, I am completely exhausted. I'll have to come home and sleep for two to three hours. After he retires in June, he'll still teach, but in a more personal way. I want to be there to help people and, and show them a path of being positive or maybe even exercise or whatever it might be that, you know, it isn't the end.